If you're a human being, you know the weight of your own inadequacies. You could probably list off many of them if I were to ask you, hey, where do you fall short in life? Oh, I know, it's in here and here and here. And the things that you're not aware of, don't worry, someone else will come and point those out to you. They'll let you know the things that you don't measure up to. This is a, a common need and a common burden of all of mankind. The people that you think have it the most together or the ones who probably don't suffer with any kind of inadequacy or fears of insecurities or anything are, are often wrapped up in it more than others. Uh, there's something going on in the fall of man that, that uh, causes us to realize we bring nothing to the table. Everything else is just a facade. Now, I know this sounds completely hopeless, but this is where the gospel comes in. You see, the gospel gives us a place to bring our inadequacies because an entrance to the life of Christ is the recognition that I bring nothing to the table. I don't do anything to earn the great grace and salvation that is being made available to me. This, this is something that the rest of the world doesn't have a compartment for. They don't have a place to put those inadequacies. So what we do is we spend a lot of time covering them up. We spend lots of money. We come up with angles. We come up with all sorts of formulas to get rid of the perception that we somehow don't measure up. The gospel invites us to acknowledge this. The gospel invites us to admit before a holy God, you're the only perfection I could ever have. And the, and the release that comes with that, the, the burden that is lifted off of our shoulders as we learn to walk in grace is one that is profound and it's even hard for us to describe. Uh, the Romans 8 says it like this, that we as creation are, are groaning, longing for this release to take place. And this groaning, or I should say this release, is only made available through the cross. It's on us and it's available to us to accept the perfection of Jesus to make up for all the inadequacies that we bring to the table. And he is more than happy and pleased to do so. God bless you.